we have friends, we have family, you know, there's other things going on in our freaking lives, okay? Hey guys, what's up? It's Heather LaBoss here. Welcome back to my art channel. Today we're going to be talking about how to get inspired again when you haven't created in a long time. This could be over several months or even years. If you haven't seen my channel before, I'm an artist and I also give motivational advice to creatives. So if that sounds like something you're interested in, make sure to subscribe. The first thing that we need to do is acknowledge if there's been any big milestones in our life that have really changed up our situation so we're not creating as frequently. For example, maybe you got married or you just had a baby, you've moved, maybe you just got through some type of health related concern or you had depression. These are all things that are very big pivotal life moments and we can't just discredit that. And I actually want you to honor the cycle of life that you're in right now. If we just think, oh, you know what? I was supposed to be creating this whole time. I'm just a lazy person. That's really not being fair to yourself for one. Maybe you're very busy and you're working a lot. That's completely fine. Just because you're not constantly creating doesn't mean that that creativity is just gone from you. And two, we have other things in our life besides just constantly creating artwork or producing for our job, you know? We have friends, we have family, you know? There's other things going on in our freaking lives, okay? My life and my happiness comes before my YouTube channel or the art that I'm creating. I know that could be a very common thing in our society where we're constantly pushing ourselves and feeling really guilty when we're not meeting that mental quota that we have. But this doesn't really inspire us to start creating. You might have started associating art as something that you have to do instead of something that you really truly enjoy. And we need to get back into a place where we're having fun again. What we need to be doing in order to get ourselves excited about creating again is think about the process, really focus on that. For everybody, it's gonna be a little bit different. For me, you know, <laughs> If you ended up watching my Drinking with Einstein video, that was a really breakthrough moment for me because I moved and it had been a while since I created anything. I really wanted to have fun. I was drinking a little bubbly and it just, it made me so happy being able to create that piece. If you could just have a perfect day where you're starting up art again, what exactly does that look like? How does that feel? Really get into it. Think about an ideal setting that you have going on in your life. Are you playing some music? Using your watercolors, busting out your colored pencils, maybe you have some cookies on the side or something. Uh, maybe you're like me and have a mimosa. Whatever that is, I want you to really get excited thinking about that whole scene. Romanticize it in your mind. We need to think about how we can integrate art back into our life. I want you to pick out a day this week where you're gonna have a fun play date with yourself, where you have all your art supplies out and you're just, it's a day for you to really honor your own creativity. And if you do happen to want to create again on a very consistent basis, again, I'm telling you, the best thing that you could do for yourself is just getting in that one fun day. You're gonna start having this association in your mind that art is fun again. I swear, after I did that picture, I gained so much more excitement and so much more eagerness to just create again. And that is because I didn't force myself to do it. I really allowed myself to have fun with it. So take that pressure off yourself. Let me know in the comments below what your fun day with yourself is gonna look like. And I really wish you the best. Make sure to subscribe, you're gonna see my fun vlog <laughs> where I share some more interesting things going on in my life. If you have any questions, you can always ask me. And I look forward to seeing you guys in my next video. Have a great day, guys.